Hey there, adventurers and digital conquerors. Welcome back to your ultimate gateway into the exhilarating world of Seekers of Tokane. If you're on the hunt for epic gameplay, insider strategies, and a community that's just as passionate about gaming as you are, you've docked at the right station. Smash that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and let's embark on this journey together. Because here at Supreme Victory Studios, it's all about playing hard, diving deep, and having a blast. Alright, here we go. How to Slay a Dragon, Episode 2. The last video got a lot of, lot of uh, views. That means that you folks are interested in how to beat this thing. Um, there's a lot of different techniques. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, in this video here, I'm going to show you a couple of ways how I beat the dragon. What uh, NFTs did I use? What move combinations? When did I switch out? Things like that are very crucial. Uh, if you get it just right, you could potentially beat them. Now, let me tell you, it's definitely not a guarantee win by any means because at any point in time buddy over here can hit you with a whopping 125 or something that that's just gonna knock you out in one shot so there's always that but if you get the right right hits if you take the right damage at the right time you can potentially get wins all the time so let's go uh, in this one here we were rolling with nine nine did his job as you can see the curse just hit Curse does really good damage, and that's why I wanted to showcase that one. Um, it's not immediate, but it does take a large chunk out. Um, the main thing is, uh, when you're fighting a dragon, you want to get in and out. You want to get your first character in there, deal as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. Take, absorb some damage, get out of there, and then get the secondary person in there to really come through, close it, and finish the job. Um, you know, when the secondary comes in, they're always going to take that big hit um, and they're going to get knocked down to 50% or so of their um, their damage. But with a couple of quick moves, you could potentially do enough damage to knock out the remaining uh, damage left on the uh, drag core. So uh, right now we're going to go with um, the Sheba. Um, don't go Earthquake because on the Earthquake move, it actually hits you back a little bit. You get like this, um, the, the hit back, I don't recall what it's called. But anyway, you do take some damage off of the recoil, I think it is. And uh, that little bit of damage, that little 15%, might do you in. So the safe bet uh, <laughs> when fighting a dragon is to use that Fireball. So... Let's see how that works out. I go ahead and go turn two. Again, I'm going to do that fireball and then I'm gonna immediately get my character out of there. Um, just seeing who I need to showcase. All right, so look like we went with a bite bit. Again, does that damage, gets out of there quick as possible. See, he would have been KO'd right away. Now, Bite Bits hurt really bad, but has plenty of fight in her still. Just to get to this next round, uh, when I go to the next round, if I have her in the second position, if I'm playing her second, I'm always going to go with Thunder Punch. Again, I want to do max damage in and out. And as you can see, she ended up one-shotting him. Get him out of here. Next. Beautiful. Love to see it. Uh, didn't drop an egg, but there's always next time. Alright, so this one here actually showcases her in the first position. I play her in the first position a little bit differently. I actually go with the uh, poisons. Because uh, that stacks up there and, and does a, a fair amount of damage over time. Um, versus the other way, I want to get that first hit and out. And I want that first hit to be the biggest. And you can see there, I did a decent amount of damage with the 22 there. So now I got another 22 coming. And I believe uh, I, even after this, I can get another one in. So Cat takes damage. Um, still good to go. Now also my attack is going higher. Go. 
again hit another 22 right there so doing really good Smash that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and let's embark on this journey together. All right. Here we got my buddy, Jacurve. This is one of my Jacurves. Um, buddy does really good. He's been doing really good in PvP and stuff like that. I definitely glad I purchased him and the a uh, welcome uh, asset on the team for sure. Uh, definitely makes me a couple of bucks. Well, not a couple of bucks, but... Uh, couple of points uh, towards the Marori uh, every season so which is great I can crack some more eggs so this one here um, I do pretty good damage right off the bat there as you can see he's already down to 60 I just need somebody to sustain the damage do some quick damage and in and out so I'm gonna go with that um, yeah She was really tanky, uh, considering she's 138. She's 47, and I have that curse. I'm gonna probably have to eat this curse. Actually, no, I should be able to take him on this round. Yeah. There we go, again, that fireball does 77 damage. In and out. One thing you want to look for and look at is when you're swapping out your uh, characters there. If you mistakenly run up against somebody, and this is like when you're in adventure mode more than likely, uh, or actually PvP applies as well. Um, either way, when you find yourself in a situation where you're, you don't have the correct uh, character, always take a look at your move set and see if there's any of them that are strong there. Um, and that'll give you a good idea of who to pick. So, for example, if it shows, um, you know, you have uh, all fire moves and they're all weak, and then you have one electric move, perhaps, and it says strong, uh, you go with the next character, look for an electric type character. Uh, that'll give you a little bit of boost, at least point you in the right direction as to who you should be using, and hopefully that'll get you through the second round. All right, there is going to be no surprise what I'm using there. Now, this comes down to the line here. No, nope, maybe not. I swapped out in time. Okay. So, that's the key there. Uh, pretty much, you know, your first round, second round. Your first round is going to do what you can. Second round is going to do whatever's left, uh, you know, as far as your hype is concerned. So, do as much damage as you can with that hype that remains because you already took a couple of hits uh, from this dragon, right? Because you're on round two, so... Do what you can, get in and get out. At this point in the video, they don't even want to fight me anymore. They're, they're avoiding me now because I'm just starting to beat them one by one. I'm hunting them down at this point, so now they're scared. So they're like, no, it's Shiva, I'm out. And it's too bad, now you're cornered. Now how does it feel? See, how does it feel, buddy? And it's pretty much out of the, all the uh, dragons I beaten so far uh, I've only got one egg so it was a prime egg I'm grateful for that um, I just have to save up a little bit of Rory to crack that bad boy and hopefully I get that five star one you know all right so we're gonna do the cat in the back here and again more than likely that's gonna be some thunder punches
I definitely do not recommend using um, any poisons when you have a uh, bit bite in the second position. It takes too long to proc. It's something that needs to be done in the first position so that it can proc uh, when you have your second opponent, your second uh, player rather, out there. So you get that additional bonus, uh, uh, each, you know, hit there. So if you throw somebody out and they're set to do, let's say, max 60 HP damage, uh, you have the additional 22 HP that you're going to hit from that poison. So it works out really well. All right, so this is the end of the video. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching these videos. Hopefully you stay to the end and watch the whole thing. Uh, I do put a lot of time into these videos, and I do care uh, that they come out well, and I really do care that you folks enjoy them. And um, the most important thing is that this helps you in your journey and gets you that dub. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, or maybe I'll have the AI guy talk to you. I don't know. Either way, you guys take it easy. Be good.